Hello everyone, welcome to MindTube and in this video we are going to cover the internal implementation of HashMap in Java 8. Why? Because in Java 8 HashMap has changed a lot. Earlier the implementation of HashMap was containing only 1k code lines but in Java 8 it's 2k plus lines in Java 8. So what has been changed? Many people are saying that it's a uh, array list of trees which is true but not completely because it's a mix of linked list and trees so there is a limit or there is a conditions in which your linked list becomes the tree if you are not written your hash code properly or too many entries are going in the same bucket i'll explain everything in that one so as you are aware of that we have a uh, array of linked list each element in the array is called bucket which is calculated with the help of uh, hash code if you are not very much familiar of uh, the implementation prior to java 8 you can watch my other video i'll put the link in this video so that you can uh, watch and it was completely explained after watching that video you the concept will be clear same like in this one i'm also giving the practical example in this one so so there is a array of link list in in my first buckets there there is only one node in uh, bucket three there are three nodes uh, sorry in bucket one and two there are three nodes and uh, as you know there are three elements in each each node the one is key value and the pointer to the next one so <clears throat> i'm taking the example of bucket n you can assume it's bucket four eight nine whatever you want and suppose we are inserting node one our hash code is written in that way that all the elements are getting inserted in this uh, bucket on node two the pointer of node one is pointing to node two and node n so i'll i'll explain this condition when i'll give you the practical uh, implementation of this one so after node nine if we insert one more element then it becomes three so here we have only five nodes or six nodes but uh, it will be you know having more than 10 elements and it's a self-balanced binary search tree what is that uh, in that case your uh, root is greater than your left node this one and it's lesser than your right node and each node having two two children's so uh, why oracle did this step i'll explain in my, my next slide so if uh, i i talk to you in terms of in terms of complexity so people say that hash map is having a complexity of uh, log n because once you get a bucket and then you have to find the element inside the bucket only but if i'll take the condition that you're all elements in one bucket so what is the complexity then let's take the example of worst case that your uh, element that you're searching it's on the uh, last position or on the n minus one length location so in that case the complexity becomes the o n because you have to you know jump to each and every node but if it is a tree then the complexity is o log n so outside it's log n and internally it's also log n take an example that if there are eight or you can say 10 elements in linked list so you have to jump 10 elements but if it's in a tree then you might go to the left of this and then left of this so you are not going to you know check more than three element to reach the 10th element and this is the static inner class which was introduced in uh, java 8 hash map and there are four pointers one is pointing to the parent of the node one is left one is right you can say parent of the node of this and then left and right and then there is a previous so if you want to go to the previous node you can also get this one so guys let's uh, move to the uh, the practical example so here i haven't did anything uh, much tedious it's very simple example and i have an employee class employee id name 
and in the hash code I'm returning one that means it is going to hit only the single bucket so I'm taking the case when your link list becomes the tree and I'll show you while debugging like how it's getting executed one by one and uh, equal is okay so that's it and I am inserting you know 12 employees and now let's quickly debug it and then I'll go a bit slowly that how it is calling those method to convert a link list to a tree so let's debug it so uh, my pointer is here I'm pressing F8 and I am pressing F8 so if I will check my hash map so you can see that right now it's a node like it's a uh, link list node but if I'll insert the next element I'm pressing F6 so it becomes the tree map or you can say tree node in which they are having you know they have balanced the everything internally so I am right now running it and I'll now go step by step how it is getting inserted I'm getting some so leave it some environment related thing so I'm debugging it so if I press F6 I'm pressing F5 I'm pressing F6 F5 F6 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 F5 so it's taking some steps so it's calculating the internal hash now so if you will go uh, in this method then you will see that if you know it's a first element then it's you know creating a new node which is your uh, node itself which is a linked list node and once it's you know inserting more elements to the same bucket and if it is reaches to the tree file threshold which is eight like apart from your uh, root if there are more than uh, eight elements so it will you know convert this one into a tree so I'll uh, press F6 so here it will just create a new node now I'm pressing F6 okay F7 now I'm coming to the pointer where it converts the link list into tree so I'm pressing F5 F6 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 five again creates a new integer f five again f five f six f five so now it will go and check <coughs> if my binary count is more than uh, the limit of this tree if I had threshold else it will going to insert it So when it will reach to the yes here it's doing the tree find bin and here it's doing all the logic to convert a link list node into tree node so friends now the idea is very clear if your one bucket is being targeted as the target bucket and the entries are more than the specified limit in the in the hash map then it becomes the tree internally to provide more performance but one more thing it detrify as well so if you will go to the start and if you will search treefy so here is a untreefy threshold as well so if you're removing the elements one by one and on some point it hits to the entry file threshold then it becomes the link list again 
So hope I think I made it clear with this example. Please let me know if you have any question. I will definitely try to solve it. And apart from this, if you have any any other thing that you found it difficult, I'll try to make it simple. So my whole idea is to convert uh, difficult things into simple one and share the knowledge with you guys. Thank you. Keep watching. If you like it, please share or please subscribe my channel. Thank you.